Gemini South is a, is a large telescope. It is eight meters in diameter, and it sits atop of a mountain in the Andes in Chile. And what this instrument does is it's, it allows you to, to get very, very sharp images of objects because what it does, it actually distorts the shape of the mirror, so that compensates for any sort of shimmering in the Earth's atmosphere. And the other reason for going down there, where, where you have to take the images in the southern hemisphere, is that there are some parts of the sky that just are never visible from the north. Well, Carina is a very interesting area of star formation because it's probably the nearest star forming region to us that has really, really massive stars. And that's, that's very important because what it does, what the massive stars do, is they emit a lot of radiation and that can actually affect the surrounding cloud out of which other stars are forming. These images really show clearly for the first time how star formation proceeds in regions that have massive stars and an awful lot of stars form in those kind of regions. Ultimately, this is the story of creation because what you're doing is you're looking at regions that are actually forming new stars and planets. So a couple million years from now, there will be new stars and planets there that don't exist now. And those will go through their lives and will be shining long after the Earth and the Sun have, have disappeared. In the meantime, the Sun will have thrown off its outer layers back into the interstellar medium and then those provide new gases for new clouds, which then in the, in the future form new stars. So there's this really large cycle of stellar life that is occurring. And what we're doing here is we're actually seeing into the stellar nurseries in very high detail through the dust, which is what the infrared light gives you. And you can really begin to see what's happening right at the beginning when stars and planets are forming. <laughs>